We say thank you to doctors and nurses who work day in and day out on the front lines, our Maryland National Guard citizen soldiers who distributed meals to kids and built and staffed our testing and vaccination sites. So the Maryland National Guard has been very involved in the vaccine operations, both at the strategic level, integrating with the Maryland Department of Health and trying to determine an overall plan for what to do with the vaccine, but also uh, very involved at the operational level, setting up mass vaccination sites across the state of Maryland and really uh, putting up a large centralized uh, location where people can come and get that vaccine. The National Guard has had an increasing and decreasing role depending on where the site is and how quickly they can bring on civilian contractors. Uh, as the site starts to roll up, we're looking at retaking some of those roles from the civilian contractors uh, and kind of supporting wherever we're needed. So it's uh, a really good demonstration of the flexibility of the National Guard. So the troops that have been deployed are uh, very involved in, and very integrated into the state and local communities. Uh, both on their civilian sides, a lot of people come out of either law enforcement or emergency services or public health. Working alongside with the Baltimore City Police Department has been very rewarding. Just dealing with them, helping them out, talking with them, uh, gaining some experience of the older the officers that have been on, on the department for a long period of time. The importance of what we're doing here today is just ensuring that our community as well as our nation, you know, receives their, their vaccines and just maintaining our readiness and being a part of it. The pandemic definitely hit everybody in different ways and it, there are definitely people that struggled and we're out here helping them regain their sense of safety. It's been a, a great experience working with all of the teammates on this, uh, this, this historic response for the fight against COVID. Uh, certainly on the National Guard side, but also on the state and local partners. Uh, the, the professionalism and desire to work together to make this, this happen has been huge. So as we continue their mass vaccination operations, we're coming up on uh, one million vaccinations given. I think that's certainly something to be proud of.